In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform Tukey Kramer's HSD, which most people seem to just call Tukey's HSD. I mentioned in the textbook that Tukey's HSD assumes equal sample sizes, whereas Tukey Kramer's HSD does not assume equal sample sizes. Pretty much everyone and every program is actually conducting Tukey Kramer's HSD, and yet people just call it Tukey's HSD. Uh, so just to clarify that point here, to conduct the analysis I did in the textbook, which is the example of accuracy at detecting people lying across four groups, which means that I can no longer use the protected Fisher's LSD approach, I've got federal agents, federal judges, police officers, and clinical psychologists. All th four groups were tested for their ability to detect whether somebody was lying or not. So to evaluate the null hypothesis of equal means across the four groups, Using a multiple comparison procedure, we can go into compare means, one-way ANOVA, and accuracy here, group in the factor box, and then click on post hoc, and you can see that you get Tukey here. That is the Tukey Kramer HSD approach. And click on continue, and click on, you should probably want, want the descriptives in the homogeneity test, because the Tukey's HSD and Tukey Kramer's HSD assumes equal variances. Click on Continue, and click on OK. And here we get the descriptive statistics associated with all four groups, as well as the total. And we can see that the federal agents have the highest mean accuracy at detecting liars. And numerically, the police officers were the lowest. And so the null hypothesis looks like it might get rejected, but we don't know. We need to test it statistically. The homogeneity of variance assumption has been satisfied because the p-value is greater than 0.05. This is one of those analyses where we kind of hope, you know, quote-unquote, we hope it to be not significant. Now, because the Tukey-Kramer HSD is a single-step procedure, we can actually ignore the ANOVA table entirely, even though most people look at it. And then we've got the multiple comparisons here, which are the Tukey HSD, or more appropriately called the Tukey-Kramer HSD, because this analysis can handle unequal sample sizes. And we can see that the mean differences across each group are reported in this column here. So the federal agents outperform the federal judges equal to 11 accuracy points, if you will, in terms of percentage accuracy. And the federal agents greatly outperform the police officers, at least numerically. We don't know if it's significant yet. 22% difference. And let's look at some of the p-values here. We can see that the federal agents and the federal judges, that numerical mean difference of 11.00 was statistically significant, 0 0.013. Now, this is a protected analysis in terms of increasing the family-wise error rate. I don't have to do anything with this p-value. I can trust it to be accurate because the Tukey Kramer HSD is, if anything, a little conservative. So we don't have to worry about inflating the family-wise error rate by reporting and consulting these p-values. So the difference between the federal judges and the federal agents is statistically significant. The difference between federal agents and police officers is also statistically significant, p less than 0 0.001. And the difference between federal agents and clinical psychologists was statistically significant, p equal 0 0.007. So because all these p-values are less than 0 0.05, the alpha level specified for this analysis, we can say that the federal agents outperformed all three groups. And we don't worry about family-wise error rate increases because we use the Tukey-Kramer HSD. Now, one comparison that's not statistically significant is the difference between federal judges and clinical psychologists. That is only a numerical difference of negative 0 0.10. It's P equal 0 0.100. You would report that in a, now, in a report or a manuscript as P equal 0 0.9999, something like that. And all the other comparisons are actually statistically significant. So the only one that wasn't significant was the difference between federal judges and clinical psychologists. That's the only difference that wasn't significant. So that's how you can perform a Tukey Kramer, what should be called a Tukey Kramer HSD, but most people would expect you to call it a Tukey HSD. It's up to you what you do. I encourage you to say Tukey Kramer because it can handle the unequal sample size, whereas strictly speaking, the Tukey HSD can't but SBSS labels it a 2 key HSD, much like a lot of other people.